So, let's build a multi-game arcade table. So here's the table that we're going to be using. That's a knife. And we're going to cut out the table very carefully. So we don't damage it. Take out all the bits we don't need. So we're just left with the top of the table itself. Next thing we need is some templates and a ruler. And some masking tape. And we're going to mask out the templates, stick them to the table. And these templates are going to be used for the buttons and the joysticks. And there's a drill. So we'll just drill some pilot holes for the buttons. It's a 28 mil drill bit. And we're going to be using that to create the holes for the buttons. So this is when my battery runs out of power. So take that out. Grab a fresh battery. Slip it in. Nice. And carry on. Right now a 22 mil drill bit. This is going to be used for the joysticks. set square and we'll use this to mark out the buttons for the select and start Some more masking tape, which is an absolute nightmare. Sticky to me, rubbish. Get rid of that. Start again. Okay, so we're masking off the positions ready for the holes for the two buttons. And start and select. Draw some pilot holes. Now a 22 mil hole bit for the buttons. Drill those out.
Right, now the mounting cables. And a 28mm bit. We've marked out the whole positions for the mounting cables and now we're going to be marking out the back plate for them. That's a clamp. out the plate and jigsaw it it looks like that give it a quick sand and the position where we want the mounting cables. So these mounting cables are for the HDMI cable going to the television and the micro USB for the power adapter. So now we'll use an 8mm drill bit for the micro USB connector. And then a 16mm hole drill bit for the HDMI connector. make sure that fits into place okay yep that seems pretty good give it a quick sand again now we'll mark out the position of the holes for the cables we'll just drill the holes for the plate To the fixing holes. Okay, so the screws are in place. Fixing the cables. Check, make sure they fit. and then we can connect the cables properly and that's complete now we'll mark out the fixing holes for the plate to the back of the unit masking tape again because now we're going to be drilling out the holes for the mounting plate that we've just created. And my pencil dies. Get rid of that.
so the holes drilled. We'll finish off the last two main holes. So, piece of MDF, pencil, and mark out the bottom of the table. And we'll drill four pilot holes ready for sawing out the marked area. And prise it off with a screwdriver, taking care not to split it take that off get rid of all the insides little bits of sawdust so give it a good clean give it a good shake get rid of any excess and then we can get rid of the templates and the masking tape Now we can fix the plate that we've made to the back of the unit. Now the MDF board that we've got, that we've cut to size, give it a quick sand. There we go drill all the fixing holes, six holes in total, and then four holes for the Raspberry Pi unit, which we'll be fixing to it later. And that's it for this part of the video, and I'll catch you in part two.